patient that came in uh, seeking medical attention before the vaccine. We treated her and um, afterwards, this is what her blood looked like. So a couple of months later, she was um, very happy and feeling much better. And her bloods were showing perfect um, round red blood cells, beautiful neutrophil that um, is your white blood cell fighting uh, cancer and viruses. And she was just feeling great. And then we didn't see her because she was doing so wonderful. And then after um, a couple of months, she made another appointment with me. She was um, insisting on an appointment because she was very short of breath. She wasn't feeling her best. And when she came in and I looked at her blood after the, um, the vaccine, so she told me she had the vaccine, and this is what her blood looked like afterwards. So it was quite shocking to see a patient with completely normal, healthy blood um, come in after a couple of months, and we see this very severe stacked rulo. So it's a, it's, it's a very dangerous form of rulo. It's not just a normal rulo where this, there's no oxygen. These red blood cells cannot function at all. Um, if you would um, understand that the capillaries and the little arteries are four micron in diameter, a red blood cells have to actually single file to get into those capillaries. You're talking myocardial um, problems, um, intravascular blood clotting. So there's no oxygen that can actually reach uh, the small arteries in the brain and in the heart. So I was, uh, I was very shocked to see this. Um, and she wasn't the only one. I, I started to see um, severe, um, these weird structures in patients who had the jab. And again, the red blood cells are so deformed, you can't even, you know, uh, make, make head or tail of it. I, I've never seen that before. So when you're talking Only about these... Time,